Hello, hello once again, and welcome to Bible Lessons. I am Dr. Adrian E. Wyman, and let's get right into what our lesson is. This month, for the month of February, we're dealing with facing adversity. We are talking about with all of this that's going on in our world, how do we face the adversity that we're seeing every day? And so with this uh, start of the a new Bible lesson series, let's get right into it. Uh, again, our focus is what to do when we're facing adversity. And our topic of our lesson today is what to do when it's you. What to do when the cause of that adversity is you. Uh, so as we look at it, first of all, we need to understand what adversity is. Adversity is unfavorable fortune or fate, uh, a condition marked by misfortune, calamity, or distress. Now, that sounds like all of us during this pandemic or all of us during this time of quarantine. Uh, we'll, we can't wait to get back out and do the things we can do with our families. And during this time, we're facing some heavy adversity trying to uh, fight depression, trying to uh, keep ourselves above water as far as bills, as far as our jobs. And so when we face adversity, there are different things that we're facing and we need to understand that sometimes that we bring those adversities on ourselves. So uh, my question today, as we look at through this lesson today is, what to do when you are the cause and the cure for your adversity? Right, so let's go right into it. Our scripture reference is Second Samuel twelve one through five, a very familiar portion of scripture. Um, David's sin displeased the Lord, but David didn't listen to the conviction of the Holy Spirit or his conscience. Now God sent someone else to speak to David, the prophet Nathan. God mercifully kept speaking to David, even when David didn't listen. Now, we have to understand where we are in this portion of the text. Um, we have to remember uh, that David uh, just murdered, basically murdered uh, the husband of Bathsheba. Uh, he murdered Uriah. And so David put himself in an adverse situation. And the problem was that he didn't know he was there until he was in it. Right. So let's look at the first thing we can do of how we what to do when you are the cause of that adversity. First thing we can do is listen and acknowledge your conviction. Parts or all of your adverse situation can be avoided if you face it in the beginning. A lot of things, especially if you brought it upon yourself, if you face your adversity in the beginning, a lot of things could be averted before it continues on. Our scripture reference for that is 2 Samuel 11, 1 through 5. And this is kind of where uh, we see where David gets in trouble, right? So let's look at 2 Samuel 11, 1 through 5. The Bible says, uh, reading from the New King James, it said, it happened in the spring of the year at the time when kings go out to battle that David sent Joab and his servants with him and all, and all Israel. And they destroyed the people and among the besieged rabbi. But David remained at Jerusalem. Then the Bible says, Then it happened one evening that David arose uh, from his bed and walked on the roof of the king's house. And from the roof he saw a woman bathing, and the woman was very beautiful to behold. So David sent and inquired about the woman, and someone said, is, is this not Bathsheba, the daughter of Eliam, the wife of Uriah, the Hittite? Then David sent messages to her, sent messages and took her, and she came to him, and he lay with her, for she was cleansed from her impurity. And she returned to her house, and the woman conceived, and she sent a message and told David, and said, I am with child. So here we see where David places himself in adverse situations. The first thing we see is in verse one, David sent Joab. And then this time, it was time the kings would go out to battle uh, with their army. And because David did not go, 
because David was not where he was supposed to be. He sent Joab, the Bible says he stayed in Jerusalem. So he placed himself in an adverse situation when he was not where he was supposed to be. So again, listen and acknowledge to your conviction. He put himself in that situation. He put himself on the rooftop. He put himself in position to call another man's wife and he put himself in position to get that woman pregnant. All right. So when you are faced with adverse situations and, and whether it's part or all in your fault uh, of putting yourself in that situation, listen and acknowledge the fact that you are there and that you are the reason that you're there. The next thing we can do is know that God knows and others may know. When you're in an adverse situation, is know that God knows and ultimately others may know. <clears throat> No one wants to admit when they are dealing with adversity. God knows and he may send some help, but the enemy may send some harm. I mean, we understand that God knows all and God, nothing can happen without God's permission. <clears throat> but when you're placed in an adverse situation and, and you're wearing that adversity around, others may know. And if others may know, then the enemy may know. And if the enemy knows, the enemy will send um, people or things or, or situations to you to help pull you down in that adversity. Now, our scripture reference for this is no, it's Nehemiah 6, 1-4. Of course, we know this is when uh, Nehemiah was on the wall. <clears throat> and the Bible says, now it has happened when Sambela, Tobiah, Geshem, the Arab, and the rest of our enemies heard that I had rebuilt the wall and that there was no breaks left in it, though at the time that I had not hung the doors in the gates, that Sambela and Geshem sent to me saying, come, let us meet together among the villages in the plain of Ono. But they thought to do me harm. So I sent a message to them saying, I am doing a great work, so I cannot come down. Why would the work cease while I leave it and go down to you? But they sent me this message four times and I answered them in the same manner. So here we see that when you're in an adverse situation, sometimes, although God knows, and sometimes God will allow you to, to move past that situation and he's there, and sometimes God will send situations. But when you put yourself in situations, and the enemy knows the enemy is going to try to make you break. It's going to try to break you. It's going to try to bring you down in this situation. So be careful. And even during this prayer time, learn to discern God's voice from the enemy's presence. So, uh, again, we need to understand that when what to do when it's you, what to do when you put yourself in, in this adverse situation, know that God knows. And know that others may know. And then finally, the last thing we can do when we're faced with adverse situations that we may put ourselves in is receive it, repent, and return. It is very hard to accept the fact that you could be the cause of your own adversity. But when you do, receive it, repent of it, and return to God. Let's look at our uh, scripture, 2 Samuel 12. And portion of that scripture, as we know that this story, our scripture reference again is from 2 Samuel 12, 1 through 5. <clears throat> and I pray that you will go back and read this in its entirety in its entirety on your time. But we have to understand that it was it was God that sent Nathan, the prophet Nathan to David, because David did not grasp the concept of the adverse situation that he was in. He sent a another woman's husband to the front line and ultimately got him killed. It was because of him. And now he's in this adverse situation where he is falling out of God's presence, falling out of God's grace. And so we see that Nathan goes to him and tells him this story of, of this rich man taking away this poor man's uh, uh, flock. And, and David gets upset and gets angry and said that death should be among this rich man. And Nathan tells him, well, that rich man is you. You have taken uh, from this man and because of this and because you have done wrong. The Bible says that the sword shall never 
leave thine house. This is what Nathan told David. And in verse 13, we see where the light comes on with David. And it says, so David said to Nathan, I have sinned against the Lord. So my brothers and sisters understand that uh, during this month, as we're talking with facing adversity, what to do when the cause and the cure is you. Sometimes we put, we give too much credit to the devil. And so when we're faced with adverse situations and we're struggling and we have to look at, make sure that we didn't put ourselves in that situation. And if we did, and if we did, these are some of the things that can help us make it through. Ultimately, God is in charge and whatever lesson that we need to learn through this situation, let it be known. Thank you so much for joining us for uh, our Bible lessons. We look forward to seeing you again on next Friday with Bible lessons with Dr. Adrian White. God bless you.